host the informal meeting of the EU Justice Ministers in Helsinki next Friday. Our main topic will be strengthening common values and the rule of law. During the day, we will also talk about different ways of improving. On Monday, I will be chairing the meeting of the EU Justice Ministers as part of the Justice and Home Affairs Council. We will be focusing on the future and in particular on the EU common values. We will discuss what we need to do now and in the coming years. It's my pleasure to welcome EU Home Affairs Ministers to Helsinki on Thursday. EU plays a key role when we talk about issues related to security in the everyday life of citizens. At the informal meeting, we will focus on the future of internal security and uh, invest in equal partnerships with key third countries. Second, we have to overcome the challenges identified to uphold a fair and legitimate EU risk. Uh, that highlight the need for firm and strategic action to update our policies regarding continuous uh, lifelong learning. With rapid technological development, uh, the issue of uh, continuous lifelong learning is a matter of equality uh, and we need to make sure... It's in Finland and we are also here to show our solidarity and our support to the imprisoned MPs of HDP and we have also stated that... Good morning everybody! Any questions? No problem, no progress? Well, it's hard to say at this point, will we find an agreement today? Uh, if we want to find an agreement, I think everybody has to be flexible. It cannot be the way that one or... I've been in politics over 10 years. I've been committed to this and of course I've been gaining trust from with my colleagues and, and with people in the elections. In the middle of monetary policy, what worries you the most about you know, the economic, um, I guess, the strength of your country and of the Eurozone? Well, thank you for the possibility to participate. For the question, of course, I'm concerned about the European level as a whole, but also from the global policy perspective. And of course, it has effects to our, our country likewise, where we have a lot of export and we depend really on the global market. How does they develop? And we know, Karen, if we want to save the Arctic, we need the Arctic countries to cooperate. But right now, we are in a situation where we seem to be lacking the trust to continue in an open and constructive manner. Many practical solutions we have managed to gain in the field 